Hey guys, thanks for joining me again on another YouTube tutorial. Today we are talking about how to use the pen tool. The pen tool is an amazing tool that you definitely need to learn how to use in order to get amazing selections like this one. So what I did was I took a photo and I cut this character out and I put him on this backdrop. My edges are super clean and crisp exactly the way that I needed them to be and how I did that was to use the pen tool so there he is cut out on this background so now I'm going to show you how I did that if we go over to the original image just start out by selecting the pen tool P is the shortcut for the pen tool or you can just click on this icon right here and I like to also be zoomed in at 200%. So right now we're at 66. We're going to go ahead into 200%. As a matter of fact, let's go into 300% just to get in tight so that you can see very clearly what it is that I'm doing. So I'm going to go on to the background layer or any other layer. Doesn't matter um, because it's actually going to be creating a path under the paths tab here. So what you're going to do is click and drag and you'll see that an anchor gets laid down here in the center and then there are directional handles that come out so I'm still holding this and just moving this around about now in order for the path to to follow along the line of your edge you have to direct the anchors and the way to do that is by holding the option key or the alt key on the PC you can hover over the little bulb at the end of the handle and then drag that handle around. So once you've laid down your handles where you want them to go and typically your handle should follow along the same path as the path, um, next you're going to drag out your next anchor and then move around your handles as necessary using the option key. So click and drag and then holding the option key moving one side. If you need to adjust one, you can just hold the option key and go over to that bulb on the handle and move it around as necessary. Now, if you've laid down the anchor somewhere where you don't want it, you can actually hit the command button and move that anchor to where you want it. Let's say this was where we wanted it. Um, we could just lay it down there but that's not where we want it so we're gonna put it back here if you find that you need another anchor somewhere because there's a curve or something um, interesting going on that the handles will not allow you to contour around you can just hover over the actual path and a plus sign will show up next to the pencil and you can just lay down another anchor there and it will automatically show up with directional handles. Adversely, if you think that there are too many handles going on and, and anchors going on, you can just hover over that without holding any modifying keys and just click on it and it will go away. All right, so let's try that with this one and you see how that happened. You can also hit undo if you mess up, you thought you needed to take one away. Um, and to pick back up on that, you're going to just hit the last anchor and keep going. So let's close that path just so that we can see what it is that we're going to be doing here. So the pen tool actually creates a path. As you can see, here's the path. Um, you would go all the way around your subject. This I'm just doing to keep the time short. I know I've already gone too long, but thanks for sticking with me. We're going to go over to the paths tab and then you can save this path by just double clicking. Okay. However many paths you create, that's how many path names they'll come up with. So I've tried to do this before, didn't work out so well. And now I'm recording take two, but here is the second path that we created. Once you have your path named, you're going to right click on it and hit make selection and then you will choose the radius. Now I like my edge for this subject to be fairly crisp, but I don't want it to look like I literally took scissors and cut him out. So I'm going to go with one pixel as the radius. And in order to show you what that looks like, I'm going to select another selection tool doesn't matter as long as it has the refine edge option up here you can choose whichever one you like so let's click on that and then we see that is the 
amount of blur that we're going to get from using the one pixel, okay? Once we come here, typically you can play around with this shift the edge where there's more of the selection, there's less of the selection. You can play around with these other sliders yourself. Now, once I'm done messing around with the sliders, what typically I do is I will output to new layer with layer mask. You can go ahead and click OK. And now we have just that little piece on a new layer with the mask. Thank you for checking that out. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you learned how to use the pen tool. It does take a lot of practice. Don't get frustrated. Keep trying at it and you will master it. Don't forget to subscribe.